welcome back to another episode of Well and Worthy Life. I am so excited to introduce you. Uh, if you're in Birmingham, you already know about her, but uh, to introduce you to Francie Kaufman, um, aka Fairway Finds. And um, we're going to be talking about quarantine and food and meals and how to do all the things. But before we even get started there, Francie, first of all, I want you to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and Fairway Finds. I know there's something to that, right? Okay. Yes. So I'm Francie Kaufman, as Deanna said. Thank you for having me. And my Instagram name is Fairway Finds. I started this account back in 2016. My husband is a professional golfer. And so I was traveling with him all over the country to all these wonderful places and eating all the, this great food and working out at all these cool gyms. And I kept having people ask me the same thing. You love health and fitness how are you staying healthy while you're traveling so much are you, and you're eating all these great things and how are you experiencing it, but also keeping up your healthy lifestyle. And so that's kind of how Fairway Finds came to be and has evolved over the last four years. And um, I'm a Birmingham native. So when I'm not traveling, we live here and both grew up here, but we love to travel. Obviously our year has looked a little bit different. Um, but when we are home, we just love Birmingham and we love um, diving in with this community and the golf course is here and the fitness is here. And so it's just kind of a combination of my love for Birmingham and my love for everywhere else on the road. So it's, it's a really fun platform for me. And um, I launched a blog with it. I guess it took a couple of years to launch a website with the Instagram, but I do have a website now too. And so I'm able to expand and write travel guides and share some recipes that are inspired by my travel. Um, so it's a little bit of everything. So have you always liked to cook? I've always loved to cook. My mom is a fabulous cook. And so I just feel like early on I was in the kitchen with her and we were always eating just wonderful things. And so I was always in the kitchen with her. Oh, that's good. Okay, so um, before we really get into what we we're going to talk about, where is your most favorite place to travel? Because I follow you on Instagram, and some of the places you and I've like we've passed in the airports and stuff yes, like that, which yes. is really fun. Well, my home away from home is 30A, and I know that's the same for you. Um, we've just been there for Thanksgiving, and it's just our happy place. It's our favorite place to unwind. But I guess I would say traveling for golf that the San Diego La Jolla area is my favorite. Ooh, um, yeah. There's just something about the sunsets there and the beach and so many of my favorite restaurants are right there in La Jolla. So I think that would be my very yeah, favorite. I would like to go there. I have been to San Diego one time, um, but yeah. Oh, how wonderful. Just love the West Coast. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I, I do so too. Much. And the food is so healthy there, right? It's so it's easy so to healthy. eat there, right? It is. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Easy. So, um, so you were inspired, but that is, you know, that is a, a one thing traveling and eating healthy and working out. That's not easy to do. Well, and a lot of times, you know, if you're on vacation, you'll let it slide a little bit. But when this became our lifestyle, it was like, okay, how's this going to work from here on out? Like we, we would love to treat every week like vacation, but this is work for him and it's life for us. So um, we've really gotten into a rhythm and routine. And if a hotel doesn't have a refrigerator in the room, we ask for it and we go to the grocery oh. store and we are just very um, routine with what snacks we love to have in the room. Um, and obviously we've found all these awesome, healthy restaurants in different cities that we might go four times of the week to that same uh -huh. restaurant if we know that we can get a good, healthy meal. We go to the Whole Foods Hot Bar a lot in different cities. So it's really just finding your rhythm. And it, it took us a while, but I feel like we found our groove for sure. So, but this year has looked different. Yeah, Are y'all, have you traveled much other than 30A? Really, we really haven't. Um, we started out the year, we went to Hawaii like normal. We went to Pebble Beach um, and then everything kind of slowed down. And so other than 30A, we've been home, which has been 
an interesting shift for us, um, which is why I get to cook more. Um, obviously, mm-hmm. when we're home and not traveling, I am cooking, but this is like a I'm cooking every night that we're home. So that's kind of how this whole meal planning that has never been my cup of tea has kind of evolved, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's been all new for me. I know it's not a new concept for a lot of people, but it's just really made me shift my mindset to what does being at home more look like for us. Okay, so let's get into this because I still, I'm like, I can't even imagine. And and as a health coach, I talk about do meal meal prepping and everything, but I don't know. It's still just like the quarantine thing is just like every, my husband every day, what's for dinner tonight? Oh, what's for dinner tonight? And then we're liable to, we have a plan. Maybe we have a plan. And then he comes home. He's like, no, I don't want that after all. Yes. I've been there. And so <laughs> I, I think for us, it started out as I love leftovers, so I don't mind eating leftovers. And I want to use every single thing that I have in my fridge before it goes bad. And so it started out as, okay, I'm going to cook like I normally cook. But then when we were really getting into lockdown and I really didn't want to be in the grocery store more than one time a week, I would start these lists of, what we have and what we need. And it would be every perishable item in our refrigerator. And I would say, okay, these are the ingredients I'm cooking with this week because this is what we got and this is what we're going to use. And so it would really help me avoid multiple trips to the grocery store. And it's been so helpful. I know some people probably already do this, but it just really helped me. Like if we had mushrooms, I'd be like, okay, we're going to have a meat sauce over bonds of chickpea pasta. And I'm going to cut up the mushrooms really fine and we're going to have that extra veggie in the sauce. It would be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I really, and my my future sister-in-law is so good at this, but every Sunday she has, this is what we're having. And she goes to the grocery store, she has a list and done. That's it. (laughs) I have always been like, wow, that is just something that is impressive. And so I, I guess about three or four months ago, I was like, I'm, I'm going to do this. And so every Sunday I would just get all my cookbooks out and nosedive into them. And I definitely have my favorite cookbooks and my favorite Mm -hmm. recipes that I would, but it was like, okay, what's a recipe that I've been wanting to try that I haven't yet. And I'd write that down and it'd be, okay, I want to cook one shrimp recipe this week, one chicken, one, it could be two chicken recipes, really anything, but I would make my list and I would Mm -hmm. write it all out and I would go to the grocery store once and Smiley would see what we were having. It was no, like, what are we having for dinner? It was like, I'm going to preface this at the beginning of the week. And if there's one night that you say, Hey, I'd rather have the Thursday night meal Tuesday. Fine. But it was also looking at what we had during the day. And if I had a little bit more time that I wanted to like, really roast something for a long time or one that took more prep and I had a lighter day, I could do that intense recipe on that day. And so it was just as simple as thinking about those things. And I will say like the further we get into the year and holidays are cranking up, it's a little bit tougher. Um, And I'm like, okay, what else? I got to be original. Like what else do I want to make? And, but it's been so fun. One of my favorite cookbooks, I don't know if you have it, is the Define Dish cookbook. I cook Alex Snodgrass's, uh, her recipes all the time. Okay, um, what is it? The Define Dish? The Define Dish on Instagram. And her cookbook is just amazing. Like, Okay, I want to know though, is it simple? Because I, I, I can't, I mean, like sometimes I'll be inspired. I've got some cookbooks, I'll pu- like pull them out but it's like got so many ingredients and you're like me, you're just cooking for you and Smiley. It's not yes. like you're cooking. For, no. I'm like, it's just me and Jeff here. Yes. Now I will say Smiley, if I cook for four, he'll eat for at least two and a half people. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Truly. And that, and he is lean and tall and it just, yeah. he eats a lot, yeah. but well, he's I a young say, man too. <laughs> But I also don't mind leftovers. So I'm like, Mm -hmm. whatever I'm cooking, I'm going to have for lunch the next day, regardless of what it is. But 
some of her recipes are a little bit more ingredient the length, uh -huh. the length of ingredients a little bit longer but one thing about hers is if you have like the 10 ingredients that she likes to use you can make almost anything so it's like really fish sauce or tapioca flour it's some of those like different ingredients but if you have those you can make so many of her recipes huh. coconut aminos yeah um so we love making hers like the week before thanksgiving i think my entire meal plan was from that cookbook so does smiley help you cook no he does not okay <laughs> uh, but okay. now that it's getting darker earlier and he's coming uh -huh. home from the golf course you know at five instead of at seven um he'll right. be like oh what what can I do and um I have oh, this, he does. well that's good well it'll be like <laughs> I have this chopper that I love from Amazon that's just basically you cut the onion in half and then you put it over like a attachment and you press down on it and it chops it evenly for you like just like that okay so, now you gotta send me that Yes, that you got yes. it, and we'll put that in the show notes. It's a, because it's a twenty dollar Amazon find that is just one of my favorite quarantine finds. But he will do that. He will help me chop veggies by that simple apparatus. But that's that's the extent. Is he pick, a picky eater? He's not, which is uh, so amazing. Because Jeff <laughs> is a very picky eater. Like it can't have mushrooms. It can't okay. have bell peppers in it. It can't have red peppers in it. Yes. I'm like, uh, like when I make meatloaf, you know, like some of the great meatloafs like yes. call for onions. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no, I mean, you have to you get them. them so, well, I can hide them in there. Uh -huh. But my son came up with this great uh, recipe for um, meatloaf and it had mushrooms in it and they were very very fine and we didn't tell Jeff that they were in there and the first time he loved it and then afterwards I couldn't help myself I had to tell him because uh -huh. it's like well there's mushrooms in there so then he wouldn't ever eat it again of course and he didn't so. even realize it the first time that yeah sometimes you just have to slide yeah. the only thing that's not funny about is he does not love like curry dishes uh-huh um, uh -huh. uh -huh. so, some so okay so you sit down on sunday you mm -hmm. sit down on sunday you make your list mm -hmm. and do you go to the grocery store or do you have you know now they have all this services shipped and instacart and all that i'm one of those that enjoys going to the grocery store so i go myself i want to pick out my own produce all that so mm -hmm. i do enjoy so you go it. on sunday i go on sundays um, sometimes if it's just too late and I know that everybody and their brother's going to be there, I'll go on Monday, but typically I have everything planned by Sunday evening. And I like to cook on Sunday nights just to kind of set the tone for the week. Um, but it helps us too with like, we know we're going to eat healthy. If we have a plan and we know this is what we're having for the week, it doesn't give us the opportunity to say oh we'll just pick up food tonight or if we have a list it's not putting mindless items in our buggy so I really think it just sets the tone for here's how we're going to have a successful week so give me an example of like this week so what what so, so today is um we're recording this on um today's Thursday so what what do you have Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday? well so <laughs> we've been at the beach all week so oh, that's right oh, that's no right. no meal plan this week but I'll give you an example of last week um it was okay. when I did define dish but we had um a sheet pan chicken shawarma so it was this really good seasoned chicken and it has red bell peppers sorry Jeff and <laughs> And roasted cauliflower, and I typically serve it over just a bag of the organic frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's. And Smiley like loves with some hummus, so mm -hmm. that's an easy, and that's what I will eat for lunch the next day. And then we had this rosemary lemon shrimp um, that you cook on the stove, um, shell on, and it's got a little bit of white wine in it, but it's mainly just shallots and garlic and delicious. And then we grilled some asparagus with that. And then we had um, the spaghetti squash pad thai. I had never made that. And Ooh. it was 
delicious. Smiley loved it too, but it's just a bunch of veggies and chicken and um, the sauce had like almond butter and coconut aminos that was not like a heavy sauce Mm -hmm. and um, just over spaghetti squash. And it was- I love spaghetti squash. I do too. Jeff won't touch spaghetti squash. I didn't know Smiley would like it and he surprisingly loved it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So that was the week before Thanksgiving. And then we obviously started eating turkey and stuff after that. But just knowing that I have three or four things that I'm going to cook is so helpful. Yeah. So do you have a place here that at the last minute or, or sometimes you will go pick up food from? Blue Root is is a (laughs) go-to. I know. They're the best, aren't they? Yes. It's a no-brainer. Even if I'm getting just like, I love their chicken. The way Mm -hmm. that Robin makes their chicken is just amazing. And so even if it's like running to get some of their chicken to put on a salad or something as simple Mm -hmm. or on a sweet potato, just that, Mm -hmm. that's a go-to for sure. Um, We have Mm -hmm. a Zoe's right down the street. So if, if we need like a super last minute, um, we might grab Zoe's, but usually I'm, probably going to the grocery store to grab two veggies and some chicken breast. I have this grilled chicken breast that uses Dijon mustard and garlic and you just marinate it and then grill it. And it's just like super flavorful. And um, I'll add just a couple roasted veggies. So if I'm really in a pinch, that's a go-to meal. Okay. Is that on your website? It's not, but I can, I can share that recipe with you. Yes. Please do, because yes. you know everybody's going to want to know it, including me. Yes. I mean, yes. I just have to keep things super simple, but I know I need to plan. It's just that I know I have planned before, and then we, Jeff and I have talked about it, and then he's like, no, I don't feel like that tonight after all. <laughs> like, Well, and uh, especially in December, like so many things come up uh, of, hey, it's the holidays. You want to go have a glass yeah. of wine, and then that turns into yeah. dinner. Um, so... I try on weeks that I know something could come up to maybe just have three nights that were for sure mm-hmm. having a meal. Right. So yeah. Be mindful yeah. Of that. And how long does it take you usually in the kitchen to anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And there are some nights that um, the crock pot is my saving grace. And I know that we just have a super hectic day and I'll put something, I think I talked to you about this at Blue Room, mm-hmm. but just a salsa verde chicken that you could throw a taco bowl together. And it, all it is is some chicken breast, some salsa verde, and some green chilies, and a little bit of salt and pepper. You just leave it cooking all day. It's so tender. And then I'll serve it in a bowl with like black beans and cilantro. And it's just super simple and easy. And if I, if I know I've got a hectic week, I'll prep like a bulk protein like that. Mm-hmm. but that's that's not all the time. yeah so that's what a friend of mine was telling me that she starts prepping on Sunday and she starts doing all these prep things like she grant uh she browns some ground turkey in case to have a you know a bowl like you were talking about she um washes all her fruits and vegetables mm-hmm. she um uh cuts everything up she starts and anything that's left, I thought this is really good. Anything that's left in her refrigerator, she'll juice it. Oh, that is good. So you have no food scrap. Uh, yeah. So good. Yeah. There was yeah. a, a couple weeks ago, Smiley was like, I I need to stop eating lunch out. I, I want to eat lunch at home. So I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm gonna cook right <laughs> dinner for him this week. But I did prep that chicken I was talking about and I did just two big sheet pans of roasted veggies and one was like bell peppers and onions and carrots. And the other was just some really good sweet potatoes. And I could make a bowl like that every day for lunch and be so happy. Yeah. And he was like, wow, I I really like this, but it did take an extra like two hours in the kitchen on Sunday. It's always worth it, but right. Not a prep for it. So, yeah. And that's, you know, in life, everything's pretty much like that right I mean Smiley can't just go out and play you know play his game and win all the time he's got to prep for it too everything we do in life we have to prep for it and um it's just you know you got to decide is it worth it and when you are trying to be healthy and um 
you you do have to plan. You can't just think. Um, I was just talking to goals uh, to um, one of my Facebook groups about goals, and I said we were talking about that. You can't just say I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to. This is what I want. You have to have a plan to get there. It'd be just like you say, well, we're going to go down to 30A. Well, if you don't know the way to 30A, you get in your car and you have no idea. Right. <laughs> like you got to plan ahead and get everything ready for it. So, um, well, Francie, I love following you and I love running that through you in the airport. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping one day soon we'll be back in the airport, passing each other in the airport. But I want to get an idea of like how many days a year do y'all normally travel? When we were on a full travel schedule, we were gone three weeks out of the month. Wow. So wow. Full travel schedule. It was three weeks out of the month. So it's, it's definitely That's been a, a lot, us. but we got a puppy. Um, that was not a, it was planned pre quarantine. So it just worked out really nice. Really? Yes. Now, who's going to keep the puppy when y'all start traveling? Well, so I'll probably stay back a little bit, but we have, both our families live here and just adore oh, her. Right. So yeah. we're, we're in yeah. good hands. Well, good. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for joining me. This is so fun. You've got to send me all the recipes so we can link Absolutely. everything um, in the show notes. And you guys, don't forget, go follow Francie, you probably already following her, so but at Fairway Finds, and then we'll uh, we'll link your website in here also in the show notes. And um, anything else? Can you think of anything else that we need to share with everybody? Um, so she's just a baby. You're how old are you? You could be my daughter. Twenty seven. You could be my daughter. Um, so. Oh, one crazy. other thing I will say is I do post um, an on the menu story, um, which oh. kind of helps people see kind of an idea of what I am having for the week. So it's on my Instagram page. It's a highlight called on the menu. And oh, I, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. You need and then to have that on your website too. I know I do. I do. But I have um, a couple recipes that are strictly on a highlight and then some that are linked to my website so you can find okay. lots there awesome well thank you Francie I appreciate it hey guys before you go be sure and rate and review even subscribe and if you love this podcast please share it with your family friends followers everything and tag me and Francie in it fairway finds well and worthy life Thank you, Francie. I appreciate it. Thank you, Deanna.